Good day and welcome to our video. I'm from Golden Detector Company in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. So for today's video, we're going to review the Infinity Max Pro Device Treasure Detector Search System, Part 2. So let's proceed now in the geophysical system in Infinity Max Pro Device. So uh, first, you have to connect this connector and these uh, two probes and the two wire. So uh, also, the wire will be connected on the main unit. Okay, then uh, now we will see, let's check what is the available target that you can choose to search for. So we have this gold, bronze, silver, water, iron, cavity, and the copper. So for example, you will choose gold. So it will uh, only uh, locate and give the percentage of the uh, gold. If there is a uh, gold on your surroundings or where you put the uh, two probes. So, for example, we'll press OK. Then, uh, now target found because it's not connected to the wire and the probe and it's not connected on the ground. But uh, you will see there that uh, your target is gold and the value and also the rate or the percentage of the target gold. So, now let's proceed to the tunnel scan search system of the Infinity Max Pro. So, uh, for this tunnel scan, it will focus only for the a hollow space or any tunnel or cave under the ground. So uh, first you have to connect this connector, of course, then this wire connected to the MGS sensor. So this MGS sensor is also used for 3D ground scanner or 3D ground scan search system. And also you have to uh, assemble this uh, armrest, okay, upper shaft and lower shaft together with the MGS and the main unit. So same uh, concept or same assembly of the 3D ground scanner. So for this one, for example, you will uh, select this tunnel scan. So you can choose tablet or device. So for now, let's check for the device. Then you have this uh, uh, mode. You can uh, adjust this one if you want manual or automatic. So uh, for uh, manual, you can use this one for uh, uh, rocky... Uh, mountain or rocky uh, surroundings. If you are in the mountain, it's too much rocky, then you can use the manual. For automatic, you can use this one for the uh, flat surface. So for example, manual, we will choose that one. Then for the path, zigzag and one direction, depends on uh, what path you want or you prefer. So uh, again, for the size, so you have the width and the height, you can adjust them. And also for the start, start point left or right, if whichever uh, you want to uh, start, left or right. Then you have also uh, all the settings that you made here. So after that, you can press OK. Then you can press this trigger button. For example, we choose manual. So you have to press each step that you will going to make. So press, press each step. OK, then you will see what is uh, the image on the ground. So uh, you will see and focusing the tunnel roll or any hollow space under the ground. You can save it here in the main unit. And also, if you want, you can start using the uh, tablet or the application or the mega analyzer software. So uh, in the application, it's more detailed, like the depth, everything is uh, there. You can adjust and customize it. So basically, we are using now the VLF system or VLF search system in Infinity Max Pro device. So we are using a 36 uh, centimeter coil and on the screen you have this calibration, all, met all metals, non-ferrous, ferrous and the sound. And on the right side, there is threshold and on the middle it will appear if the device is detecting a ferrous or non-ferrous metal or metallic object. So we have this gold and the iron. So uh, we will try this first, the gold. So as you can see, appearing here is a non-ferrous metallic object. So for the iron, we'll try now. So it's giving now ferrous metallic object. So basically, we are in the pulse induction search system in Infinity Max Pro device. So uh, in the screen, there is a ground balance, threshold adjustment, gain, and the sound. And also appearing here, the non-ferrous and ferrous metallic object. So uh, we will try this uh, gold. So it's giving a non-ferrous metallic object for the gold. And by the way, I'm using this 50 centimeter uh, coil. 
Let's proceed to the live stream search system in Infinity Max Pro. Just press OK. Then, after that, wait to calibrate. And the sensor should be at least 10 cm away from the ground. So, uh, this live stream is like a 3D uh, scanner or 3D ground scan. But the difference is this one is on live. So, as you can see, giving a color green, meaning there is no target at all. So, it's just a normal ground. So, if the device is giving or the screen is uh, appearing color red, meaning there is a metallic object. And let's see if it will give some blue color. So, this blue color meaning there is a hollow space under the ground or under this sensor. So, uh, for the screen, there's a speed adjustment and also for the sensitivity. And now, let's proceed to the pinpointer search system in Infinity Max Pro. Press OK. Then, press Calibrate. Just press this uh, trigger button. Then, we will move now. Of course, the sensor should be away from the ground at least 10 cm. So, as you can see, it's going up. So, meaning there is a metallic object here. Then, for example, we will see, so this one, there is a hollow space under the ground. But it's, if it is only flat, appearing flat uh, appearance, so meaning there is no target at all. So this pin pointer is used for, to remove the uh, trash iron or any unwanted metallic object on the ground. For part 1 review video of the Infinity Max Pro device, click the link at the description. And for more information, contact us at Golden Detector Company.